the one time I tell someone the truth, it costs the relationship. And I haven't talked to them since five years. It's been going on six years. Someone that was really close to me. We have not talked. Let me tell you why. Because their entire life, I sung their praises because that's just who I am. That's what I do. I have had a habit of just seeing the good in people. I refuse to see the bad. It's like I don't even see it. And that has been to my detriment and to my hurt. I don't do that anymore. But around that time, I decided, you know what? I'm going to tell this person the truth. And we have not talked since that day because they had gotten so used to me not calling them out on anything, not holding them accountable for anything. But the one time I'm telling, and I'm not exaggerating the one time it is documented. Other people even know about it. One time I tell you the truth about why your life is the way it is and how you're treating me and how you make me feel. We haven't talked since, but you've known me my entire life just because you have a big heart that does not require you to ignore the negative or the places and areas that people need to grow and change and evolve. It does not require you to ignore that. And that's what I did my entire life until I learned better just because you have a big heart. And that's usually what happens with people that have big hearts and all you want to do is see the good in people. You ignore the stuff that you should be paying attention to. And that's how you end up getting hurt. Telling them the truth about themselves does not take away from you having a big heart. And it doesn't mean that you don't have a big heart or a loving heart. If they are a liar, you need to tell them you are a liar. You're manipulative. You're controlling. <laughs> and I'm talking about people that you're in relationships with. I'm not saying go up to total strangers or just random people or people that you barely know. I'm talking about people where their actions and their behaviors are impacting you in a negative way. It does not take away from who you are. And that's what I used to think it meant. Like, I can't be mean. Do you know how many times I've been called mean? I'm not mean. I'm a Scorpio. My birthday's in two weeks. And Scorpios don't mess with anybody. They stay to themselves until you push them in a corner, until you mess with them. Then they sting them. Okay? And again, the one time I decide to tell this person the truth about themselves, all the other 30-some years that we've known each other, it hasn't been an issue. Because I've always encouraged you and uplifted you. And, you know, and you can relate if this is you. You've always just seen the best in people. And then the one time that lets me know that we really didn't have a real relationship. That lets me know the motives and the, the intent of the relationship. As long as I was feeding them their ego and lifting them up, it was no problem. But as soon as I call you out on something or shine light on an area, we don't talk anymore. I had to learn that I had to balance that. I had to balance the good heart with still calling stuff out because that's what I would want someone to do for me. And if you're one of those people with a big heart, you know how we are. We will flood people with all the good and it's genuine. It's really sincere. It's like, I see this and I see that and I see that. And I know me, that's how I have operated. It's like, I will just ignore it. Like I don't even see it and not on purpose. It's just, I want to focus on the good. I see the good and it blinded me from seeing the stuff that I really should have been addressing. Or there was a fear of saying something and not being honest And either before this video or after this video, I have a video on honesty. Either I was just afraid to say something or I didn't feel that I was equipped or worthy enough to say that. But if we're in a relationship, yes, I am. What? Yes, I am. If we're in a friendship, a family ship, Yes, I am qualified because you're impacting my life. What you do and who you are has a profound effect on me, especially if we're in each other's life every day. And thinking back on it, I think sometimes I didn't say anything is because I was probably just dealing with my own stuff, working on my own stuff. And I didn't feel like I need to be telling anybody about anything. But I guess it is true that, you know, after you have dealt with, you know, the the log in your own eye, then you can help other people see the specks in their eye. But I'm talking about people that you're in a relationship with, you're in a friendship with, you're in a love ship with, because what they do, how they live is going to affect you mentally, emotionally, spiritually in every way. So if you see, hey, you're being controlling or you're using me or I feel like this, though, and then they'll say, well, it's the way you called me a liar. I called you a liar. I said what I said, or it's the way you said that I was controlling. I said you were controlling. Yeah. So stop. 
But here's the thing. But what about all the 75,450 billion, 25,000 and 2.5 times I said, you're amazing. You're great. You're going to do this in life and you looking good today. And oh my gosh. And just love, 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 just love bombing you, you know, in the, in the positive sense. What about all those times and the one, and I'm not exaggerating the one time I say something, man. Oh yeah. Keep having a big heart. Keep showing the love, keep pouring out the love. Cause I'm going to still do that. I'm not going to change, but you need to also know that's going to come with some balance that, Hey, you said that you were going to be at this point in your goals or in your dream. You said you were going to be doing this detox. You said you were going to be doing this. What's up with that? What's going on with that? Keeping each other accountable and showing love, not just in all the positive and the good, good, good sugary stuff, but also giving them the stuff that they don't want to hear. That's also love.